wanted to make a video um, to show y'all some basic crochet um, stitches, some things that would have made it easier on me whenever I was learning to crochet. And I wanted to share those things with y'all to make it easier on y'all if you're learning how or if you want to learn. This is like a mirror image of the way I'm doing this. But um, I hope y'all understand. And if, if you don't understand, I'm really sorry. And I can make another video um, with a different camera <laughs> because this is the only way I could get this work working. Anyways, okay. Um, any pattern is going to tell you pretty much start off with a chain or a magic loop. But I'm going to teach you that later because that one's a little bit more difficult. Chain. What you're going to do is you're going to twist. Just twist once and then grab the long one and put it through your loop. And then you just pull it. And then you get your hook in here. And you're going to chain. Let me show you how to chain. In case you don't know, you wrap around the back, of course. And then you pull it through. Wrap around the back, pull it through, wrap around the back, pull it through, wrap around the back, pull it through. I'm going to do a few of these so I can show you how to do some other stuff. Wrap around the back, pull it through, wrap around the back, pull it through, wrap around the back, pull it through. That's a chain. It's a little chain, but it's a chain. Now I'm going to show you a single crochet. Oh, a chain. Let me tell you. The abbreviation for chain is CH. So whenever it says to CH5, that means chain 5. So I'm going to show you a single crochet. Single crochet. You go through uh, the loop, one of the loops. And I would go through the second loop, not through the same one. As your hook is attached to, but you go through, pull up a loop, and then you wrap around, and you pull through two loops. Go through, pull up, and then you wrap around, and you pull through two loops. Go to the next one, and then you pull up, oh, and then you wrap around, and you pull through those two loops. So I'm going to do that all the way across. Go through, pull up one loop and then you wrap around from the back from the back I know it looks like a mirror image but then you pull through two loops go through um, pull up a loop then you wrap around and you pull through those two loops go through wrap pull through then wrap and then pull through those two go through the, one of the chains right next to it that you just got done making your single crochet in and you pull through and you wrap and you pull through both go through wrap pull through wrap pull through both loops that is a single crochet and I just sounded goofy right there I hope you can hear me because I talk very quiet the next thing is single crochet. The um, abbreviation for that is SC. So whenever something tells you, like a pattern tells you to single crochet, it's going to say SC. So the next thing is going to be whenever you get to the end of a row, it's going to tell you to chain one or chain two and turn. I just got done like that. Now I'm going to turn. I chained one and I'm going to show you a half double crochet. So you're going to wrap from the back and you're going to go in through um, the first single crochet here that we made and we're going to pull up another loop and you've got three loops. You're going to wrap and you're going to pull through all three loops. So you're going to wrap, go through the next single crochet you're gonna pull up you're gonna have three loops and you're gonna wrap and you're gonna pull through all three of those loops wrap go through pull up another loop wrap pull through all three loops wrap go 
it through, pull up another loop, and you're gonna wrap, and you're gonna pull through all three loops. Wrap, go through, pull it up, got three loops, and you're gonna wrap again, you're gonna pull through all three of them. I'm gonna go all the way across here. I'll hurry, I could go faster than that. I'm just trying to show y'all. I know you might not be able to see it very well, but this is the way I hold the things I'm crocheting because it, like, I'll hold one side like this and I'll hold the other side like that so I don't drop any side of it because that gets very annoying. So you wrap, go through, pull up another loop, and then you wrap and you pull through all three loops. Wrap, go through the last one right here, and then you're going to pull it up, and then you're going to wrap, and then go through all three loops. So, that was the half double crochet, which is abbreviated HDC. So whenever there is a pattern that says um, HDC, that means that you're going to have double crochet. And that means that you're going to do what I just showed you. <clears throat> so, on a pattern, it's going to tell you to chain one or chain two. I'm going to chain two because the next one is going to be a double crochet that I'm going to show you. I chain two and sometimes the pattern will tell you to work in the space or in the stitch the stitch is this little space right here and in the space is this bigger area right here in between the um, half double crochets that we just worked so this is how you do a double crochet <clears throat> I'll work in the space. You're gonna wrap once and then you're gonna go in through the space, pull up another loop, and then you're gonna wrap. This time you're not gonna pull through all three like a half double crochet, you're gonna only pull through two. You pull through two and then you wrap and you pull through two more. Wrap, go through the space, or I mean, the stitch wherever it says to go through and then you're gonna wrap and then you're gonna pull through two and then you're gonna pull through two wrap go through the space wrap again pull up another loop pull through two and pull through two wrap go through the space pull up another loop Wrap again, pull through two, and pull through two. Wrap, go through the space, pull up. And then you're going to wrap again. Sorry. <laughs> and then you're going to pull through two, and then you're going to wrap again, pull through two. Wrap, go through the space. Wrap again, pull through two, wrap again, pull through two. And, you know, like I said, this looks like a mirror, mirror image. And... It's um, not going to really show what I'm really doing. It's looking like it's like pulling from the, f I'm wrapping from the front to y'all. But to me, I'm wrapping from the back. So that's how you do it. You wrap, you put it through the, the space or the wherever it says that the stitch or anything, and you pull through two, and then you wrap, and you pull through two. Wrap, go through the space, pull another one up, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. Wrap, go through the space, pull. Now you got three on there, and then you're going to wrap it again, you're going to pull through two, you wrap again, and pull through two. Wrap, go through the last one, and you're going to pull, and you're going to wrap again, and you're going to pull through two and you're gonna pull through two. Okay, <clears throat> that was a half double crochet. I'm gonna show y'all a, oh yeah, um, that was not half double crochet, that was a uh, double crochet, sorry, which is abbreviated DC um, when, on, a, on a pattern. I'm gonna show y'all treble crochet. So I'll chain one, two, and three for a treble crochet. And then, I'll show it to you. Let me pull up some more yarn. So, 
they're going to wrap two times. And then we'll go through the space again to make it easier, I guess. I don't know. We're going to go through the space. We're going to pull up one. Then we're going to wrap. We're going to pull through two. We're going to wrap again. We're going to pull through two again. Then we're going to wrap again. We're going to pull through two again. And then that makes a long one. It's, it's bigger than the other ones. Wrap, wrap. Go through the space. Pull through. Wrap. Pull through two. Wrap. Pull through two. Wrap. Pull through two. That is a treble crochet. And I've seen abbreviations for treble crochet look like TBC or TC. I don't know. I know. I'm, I'm not like a pro, but I can make some really pretty stuff. So most likely their abbreviation will look like a TC. <laughs> so you wrap and then you wrap again and you put it through the space and you pull through and then you're going to pull through two and then you're going to pull through two and you're going to pull through two. Wrap, go through the space, pull through. Oh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> wrap two times, go through, pull through once, one more loop and then you're going to wrap again and you're going to pull through two. Pull through two, pull through two, wrap two times, wrap it around one, two, and you're going to go to the next space, you're going to pull through another loop, wrap again, you're going to pull through two, and pull through two, and you're going to pull through two, you're going to wrap again two times, then you're going to go through, I'm probably getting pretty boring by this point. I think you get it. Hopefully, if not, you can rewind it. <laughs> but pull through two, wrap, pull through two, oops, and then wrap, and then you pull through the last two. I'll finish. Go through, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. Wrap two times, go in, pull up another loop, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap two times, go through. And then pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap two times in the last one, and then you pull one more on, and then you wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. So here is the treble crochet, and it doesn't look very big, but it's bigger than the double crochet, and the half double crochet, and the single crochet. <laughs> so, um, I know that I also want to show you how to um, like slip stitch and I'll probably have to um, show you how to do that like with a, with a round or I can just do it like this. I turned my work but I'm gonna, what you do is you don't wrap nothing. You just go like this and you pull one, one through and you pull it through the loop that's already there. So you um, go through a space or a stitch. I would go through a stitch if you're going to slip stitch. A slip stitch um, is um, S, um, SS, that's the abbreviation, slip stitch, sorry. Um, you only, you just pull through the loop that's on your needle on your crochet hook. So you go through, you pull it up, and then you, let me see if I can show you a lot better, because I'm not doing a very good job of it. You go through, wrap, and then you just pull it, you pull it through there. So that's how you do it, and, um, sorry, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. That's a slip stitch. <coughs> But I am going to show you around one. I'm going to show you the um, magic loop. A magic loop, you can almost do what you normally would do, like I just showed you to make a chain, except you're not going to close the loop. 
you're just going to pull up the long piece of string that's hooked to the rest of your stuff, rest of your yarn. You're going to leave this dangling, of course, obviously. And then you're going to just have that, just like that. And you're going to work inside this loop. Now, you might say, do six half double crochets inside this loop. And what you're going to do, oh, it's getting smaller, is you're going to wrap it from behind, and then you're going to work inside the magic loop. And you're just going to do your half double crochet. Look, there's one half double crochet. Two, three, four, five, and six. Well, you're going to pull it. Oh, oops, there we go. It kind of got stuck there. You're going to pull it. And you're going to have a circle there. See? It's a circle. And then, to close this circle and make it a full circle, you're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet. This is what a pattern will tell you to do. So you're going to close it up some more. And then you're going to go to the first, the top of your first half double crochet and you're going to slip stitch. Slip stitch, remember, is you wrap it and then you pull it through and you just pull it all the way through. You just pull it through the first loop that was on there. And that's a slip stitch. Um, let me see what else. Is there anything else? Well, I mean, if you have any questions, just ask me. I would have loved to have had um, somebody tell me this stuff whenever I started. It was a couple of years before I learned all of this and I hope that it helps somebody because I know that it's like a mirror image and it might not look right but you know at least I tried. I tried to help y'all out. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I have written down that I can, I think that's it. Thanks. Thanks for watching my video and I hope it helped you. If it helped you, let me know. I'm going to make some more videos. I'll probably make like a triangular shawl. I'll show you how to do that. And it's like something where you don't, I mean, you might have to count first three little stitches and then that's it you just work work around you keep turning your work and you don't have to count that's easy for moms who have kids that um, always have lots of questions for them and they can't just uh, count their stitches all the time and then I can show you how to make like a rectangular shawl or a whatever you want to make it you want to make it a blanket it's just a straight stitch across and then you just go back and forth back and forth you don't have to count nothing you just go back and forth and then I can probably show y'all how to make a hat something that you don't have to count it's a it's a um a owl hat I'll show you how to make the rounds to it like to go straight around without um having to end I mean I know new people will understand this but whenever you end around and then bumps up and then you go around and you slip stitch instead of slip stitching you just go around and around and around and around and around that's working in the round um, and then you have to have a stitch marker to keep your place for that but I have a hat pattern and and it's not really a pattern it's just it's so easy but I can um well you have to count the stitches for the eyes and stuff like that but that don't count because it's like so easy but I'll, I'll share that with y'all soon, whenever I get some more time, because I'm a mom. But um, bless y'all, and thank y'all so much for watching my video, and thanks. Bye.